You're listening to The Sauce, an investigative podcast by McDonald's, Studio at Gizmodo, and Onion Labs. Szechuan sauce. A long-forgotten McDonald's condiment that was randomly mentioned on a cult animated TV show and revived to help promote buttermilk crispy tenders, but actually caused a nationwide craze when there wasn't enough sauce to go around. Everyone seems to have a different side of the story. And despite their mishaps, the McDonald's PR team seemed genuine. I'm Catherine LeClaire, and this is The Sauce, a podcast about what happens when the best of intentions go wrong. I asked Hanno Cabrera, Senior VP of Corporate Relations at McDonald's, what the disappointment felt like to him. It felt personal. Uh, And look, I get it. If you were a fan of the show and you showed up at the restaurant, it felt personal to you too. We were as disappointed. um, And on top of that, you know, we, we had to struggle with the question of, well, now we have to fix this. And uh, I think for the disappointment that the fans had and the anger, like it, it occurred that day for us, it continued for months. In the end, I spoke with McDonald's fans, staff, and yes, even EDM artist Dead Mouse to get to the bottom of this sticky sauce cup. McDonald's claims that they truly did not see the Szechuan sauce craze coming. And yet, knowing what I know about publicity, I am a very smart and savvy branded podcast host, after all. I couldn't help but ask this question. Was there any chance this whole fiasco was secretly planned as a way to use scarcity to drum up interest and excitement? No, we are, we are not that smart. Um, and if the question is, are you that dumb, it's closer to the truth. But the reality is that we're restrained by supply. And so we did not try to create a limited supply. We tried to create the most that we could in the limited time that we had. Oh, really, McDonald's Senior VP for Corporate Relations, Hanno Cabrera? You would say that, wouldn't you? I do think that hindsight is twenty twenty. And look, we're now living in the post sauce world, if you will, where uh, we know what the outcome was, right? This is not a spoiler to anybody who's listening to this podcast. <laughs> it, it did not go down well as an understatement. Uh, but at the time, and again, context is everything, what Supply said is that we can make a certain amount of sauce, which was basically about 4,000, which was comparable to what we had done with other activations. 4,000 cups. Considering that McDonald's serves millions of people every day, that doesn't sound like a big number. On top of that, when you factor in that they were distributed to 200 locations across the country, that comes out to 20 cups of sauce per restaurant? Again, I'm just a podcast host, but that clearly seems like not enough sauce. Here's Hanno again. The intention, while good, uh, ran up against uh, an unexpected reaction. But let me put it to you this way. If, if we had sat in that room and said, okay, we don't have enough sauce. Let's make 10 times the amount. Let's make 20. Let's make 50 times the amount. Let's make 100 times the amount that we're talking about. It still would not have been enough. What are the details for when you guys are bringing back this sauce? 20 million coming back February 26th to all U.S. locations. In all restaurants, there is no window. It's there as long as supplies last, and we have ginned up everything possible to make as much as we can to make it available to our fans. Chef Mike, can you walk me through the process you had to go through to increase production so much? Sure. So basically, instead of having one of our supplier partners make it, we need multiple people to make it, which is another set of challenges because ingredients from different parts of the U.S. may also be different. Um, The first thing we have to do is make sure five different people can make the exact same sauce. Then everyone needs to have the same cup, the same label, the ingredient statements. There's all kinds of goofy stuff that I don't even have to worry about, but I know goes on just to even think about doing something at this scale. My sincere hope is that if you haven't tried Szechuan sauce, myself included in that mix, um, now is definitely the time. I've devoted multiple weeks of my life to this. And after embarking upon this journey, I still have many unanswered questions. What is the lesson here? 
Why did people riot? What are the limits of fandom? What's even in Szechuan sauce? Oh, sorry. My producer just handed me an ingredient list, so that question at least has an answer. It's basically like a teriyaki sauce with some other stuff in it. But the other questions still torment me. What have we learned here? I posed that question to people from all corners of McDonald's. I would never be upset at a super fan for any reason. It was a humbling moment for me to know that, you know, I'm not always going to have a good grip on everything that, you know, people are saying on the internet and how that's going to work in the actual world. When you have something that's a cult classic, that if you tap into that, just know that you're opening up something really powerful. When you hear Szechuan sauce, I think there's an automatic just trigger in me where, you know, I I associate it with that day. And um, so there's obviously always that nervousness, right? But I think we feel good about all of our restaurants are going to have it. There's a lot more sauce. And hopefully this time it will be much more celebratory and fun than October 7th. We get it. We disappointed fans. We are sorry. But we are absolutely committed to making this right. For Jillian and Will, who drove across the Canadian-American border in a fruitless attempt to get sauce, the positive memories outweigh the disappointment. I'll tell my kids about it. I'll be like, you know McDonald's? Yeah, I know. It's delivered by, like, Hovercraft now. But do you remember when you had to drive places to get things? We drove four hours. Delivered by Hovercraft? Well, I don't know. It's in the future. (laughs) (laughs) More than anything, to get all hippy-dippy, I was like, oh, it's all about the journey, man. It's also important for you to understand that this whole fiasco didn't just go away within a few days or a few weeks for McDonald's. I'm recording this in early February, and it's been four months since the infamous Szechuan sauce shortage of October 7th. And still, people tweet at McDonald's every single day about bringing back Szechuan sauce. Fans are simply not forgetting about what happened. And they still really want this sauce. Will even these 20 million cups be enough? Here's Chef Mike. I hope everyone is happy. I hope um, those who are upset can forgive us. Um, I hope that if they didn't get a chance to try it before, they try it now. I hope they enjoy it. One thing I've learned in being an R&D chef for many years is not 100% of people are going to like 100% of everything. I asked two of the Szechuan sauce superfans, Jillian from Canada, and David, the guy who won that bottle of sauce, whether they're planning to take part in the new promotion. Oh, 100%. As long as it's not like 10 hours away, we'll be there. Oh my goodness, absolutely. And I'll probably bring the empty bottle and container that I have still. I'm going to level with you guys. I'm fascinated by this story, but I don't go to McDonald's very often. For one thing, I'm a vegetarian. But... After taking a deep dive into this saga, I couldn't resist. I needed a taste of the sauce. So I tracked down a packet of it, and I have it here. It's the one from October. It says, used by 112617 on it. But I'm willing to put my body on the line in the name of journalism. And I needed to experience the flavors that made an entire nation go absolutely insane. So I've got some McDonald's fries. And I'm going to try Szechuan sauce right now. Here we go. Huh. We may never know the whole story about what happened with Szechuan sauce. But we'll all get a chance to taste it on February 26th at literally every McDonald's in the U.S. I'll be there. I'm Catherine LeClaire, and this is The Sauce. You've been listening to The Sauce, an investigative podcast by McDonald's, Studio Akizmoto, and Onion Labs.